together with it. The other tool I want to show you today is the symmetry tool, and it works with the paintbrush. My paintbrush is sitting over here. Paintbrush does exactly what you think it would. It paints. All of your different brushes are up in here. You can change the size here. You can change a bunch of other settings, but all you need to worry about right now are your color, which is down here and over here, and you need to worry about what type of brush you're using. So for now, just to make it simple, I'm going to stick with soft round pressure. You can change the shape of it too. You can also change how see-through it is. I'm going to come over to this setting, which is a little bitty butterfly up here. I'm going to click it. And now I can choose all kinds of different symmetry modes. Symmetry, remember, means same on both sides. So I, I'm going to keep it simple and choose vertical for now. That gives you a line. You can decide where to put it and how long it can be. The more complex ones have more lines. I'm going to hit the check mark to place it. And I'm going to come back to my paintbrush. Now anything I draw over here is going to show up in the same spot on the other side. So if I draw like a swirly thing there, it shows up there. I can also go in and play with some of my more fun brushes. Some of these are blenders. They won't behave like a real brush because they are meant to blend stuff. So I think I want to just switch to a white with this spatter brush. That's kind of cool. I can also rotate my brushes by clicking in here. That way they don't look too samey. I can make them smaller or bigger using the left and right bracket keys, or I can just go back up here. But that looks kind of cool too. You can also draw on your clipping mask layer. I would encourage you not to go too close to your text, otherwise you're not going to be able to read it. But let me show you what happens when you do that. Say so I do this brush. Make it bigger. If I click on that same layer that my text is on, I can now draw in the clipping mask. You can also create another one, but you don't need to do that right away. Cool, cool. Now I need to go up and file, export. I'm going to quick export it as a PNG. Name it quote. And hit save. It should, keyword should, show up on my desktop. Here's my old one. And I would drag and drop this into my Google folder. So let's go to my Okta drive. Would find my folder. Double click into it. Maybe. And I can move this over, drag and drop. Cool beans.